Video editing is the backbone of any video. It is complex, comprehensive and a time-consuming process. The choices that you make as a video editor can make or break a video. Hi, my name is Mildu. I've been editing videos since the last 5 years and today I'm going to break down every little step and every little trick that I used in editing this Nike Spec Air. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, you can do it. As long as you really believe 100%. This editing breakdown is going to be a tricky one because mostly I have the edit planned out beforehand. But for this video, the pre playing that I did was a bare minimum. But unfortunately, this is all we had planned. Watch my previous video on how I shot and planned the entire Nike spec ad and come back to this video for better understanding. Or you can watch it later, the choice is yours. Anyways, let's cut straight to the point, I didn't plan this edit. So how do you go about editing a video that is unplanned? How do you make an amazing edit out of this? And how do you deliver a feeling to the audience? Well, there is a way. It requires some trial and error and some organization skills. First and foremost, I selected the in and out points of all the usable clips and imported them in a sequence. I arranged the clips in order of the scene. For example, I had clips of cycling, running, swimming, and the outro. Doing this helps me to form a basic idea in my mind of how the edit should feel like. And as a video editor, it is your job to deliver the same feeling to the audience. So this next thing I'm about to tell you can do the majority of the work for you in terms of delivering a feeling. This single thing can help craft a wide range of emotional responses from the audience. It can create rhythm for the clips and scenes and emphasize the overall story. Can you guess what I'm talking about? Pause the video right now and comment down below. I'll wait 5 seconds for you. Okay, time's up. So the thing that I'm talking about is... So I downloaded a bunch of different songs. Oops, wrong playlist. So I downloaded a bunch of different songs under the video theme sports. Now this is the tricky part. I needed a song that would fit perfect to this video. So the music had to be of the perfect length, it had to be energetic, it had to fit everything perfectly. So I did a lot of trial and error. I tried to arrange them in different orders to see how it fits with the music. And after spending a couple of hours and trying out bunch of different variations, I finally found the perfect song. Now at the start the music was very slow, so my initial thought was to add an inspiring male deep voiceover. So I did exactly that. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something. Now towards the end the music again slows down. So I decided to add another voiceover on top of that. So right now what we have here is the basic structure of the entire edit and I am going to fit all the clips on top of this. Since I have to establish the concept of triathlon here, so I have to introduce swimming, cycling and running right at the intro. The middle part is where the music is very upbeat and energetic. So I can fit the fast movement action shots here. And towards the end again the music slows down, so that part is for the outro. And that my friend is how you turn an unplanned edit to a, some sort of a planned edit. Now all I had to do was arrange the clips in order with the beat of the music. And that I think all of you know how to do it very well. Now let's talk about something that a lot of you commented in my previous video. The way your text is edited is sick. Hi, can you tell me the font name you used Hi, in the I really the video. like the font you used. So the secret tool that I use is Microsoft Word. In all seriousness, I use a tool in After Effects known as Rotoscope. Anyways, text or typography is a crucial element in your videos. It can be used to make your videos artistic and professional. And that is where the sponsor of today's video, Motionary, comes in. If you like the text that I've used in today's video and you want this cool looking text in your videos as well, you should definitely check out Motion Array. Motion Array has lots of different types of video templates, stock footage, photos, music and sound effects. It's really easy to use, you can download things in a second and in my opinion it is the quickest way to take your videos to the next level. In my current video I have used their After Effects template and 3D tracked it to the background. So that makes the video go from this to this in seconds. The best thing is that you get all these types of plugins and extensions for different types of softwares like Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, all under one membership only. So visit the link in the description and check out Motion Array for free. And if you decide to purchase the annual membership, you get a $50 discount. So it's up to you if you want to take your videos to the next level or not.
Back to the video, we have a simple text here that says find your greatness. So I took the clips to After Effects and rotoscoped out the subject. Then I placed the text behind the subject and 3D tracked it so that it sticks to the background. It looks good but it still doesn't look realistic. So what I did is I added a camera blur onto the text. Right as the subject leaves the frame, I placed two keyframes and unblurred the text. So that gives it a realistic feel and it makes a psychological impact in the viewer's mind that the boy is looking at the text in front of him and off he goes to find his greatness. I have done an entire breakdown of my sound design workflow. So if you haven't checked it out, click here. Anyways, in this video, the sound effects that I used is cycling, swimming, running, boost sounds, risers, and also a breathing sound. I have placed them in according to the action and layered them with the beat of the music. So let me quickly give you a before and after adding the sound effects. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, the mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something. When the sound effects complements the music, the video just becomes 10 times better. Something else that I like to do in my edits usually is play with the juxtaposition of clips, meaning I like to place fast paced cuts in between normal shots. Let me give you two examples of this. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something. So what this does is that it changes the flow of the video and keeps the audience more engaged. Now since this video is a spec commercial, this allows me to have total creative freedom. When you're editing your project, keep that in mind and see what the script demands and keep your objective clear. What do you want the audience to feel? How can you achieve that? You should have the answers to these questions when you're editing. Similarly, like the last point and the previous point before that, I have also made a video on color grading. So if you want, you can go and check it out. It's one thing to understand how to color grade on a purely technical level, but it takes a deeper understanding of the psychology of editing to get the greatest emotional impact on your audience. So let's talk about why I chose the tones and what gives it the sporty look. Saturation tends to emphasize the world by broadening the field of view, while desaturation tends to emphasize on the character by focusing on the viewer's attention. Hence, I decided to desaturate the greens in this video. Low contrast images with lifted blacks and rolled off highlights create a dreamlike look, while high contrast images with deep blacks and bright highlights create a visual intensity. Hence, I decided to go for a high contrast look in this video. Warm color palettes tend to feel soft and inviting, while cold palettes give a raw and clinical feel. In this case, I wanted the raw feeling, so I had to go for the cold palettes. And that completes the last step of the editing process. So in spite of having no plan jumping into this edit, finding the right music and using some basic editing tricks, sound design and color grading, I was able to pull off this edit. So without any further ado, let the video play. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, you can do it. As long as you really believe 100%. Designed for accomplishment, engineered for success. Find your great. 